The Vision OS 2.4 beta is officially available today, and this is actually a pretty huge upgrade for Apple Vision Pro users, as it brings along some very heavily anticipated and requested features. In fact, one of the new features we thought would only come alongside potentially a model refresh with some updated internals, but we actually get it right now, and that's the Apple Intelligence coming to uh, Vision OS 2.4. Apple Intelligence on Vision Pro brings along a lot of the same features that we've talked about a ton, which is on all of the other devices that can support it over the last six to eight months, but it's optimized for the Vision Pro platform. Users can enjoy writing tools, Genmoji, and Image Playground, which the latter does get its own standalone application like it does on other platforms, but there's also Memory Movie Maker built right into the Photos app, which is actually really useful because Vision Pro is very good for viewing other content like photos and stuff. It's a really great experience, and so, you know, getting that on the Vision Pro is great. You can even use Image Wand, which users can actually just draw using using their hands in the air. Obviously, you're not using an Apple Pencil, but you'll get the generated images for your work anyways. Apple also introduced a much better way to get users to try your Vision Pro. Before, it was really just a hassle. You kind of had to put the Pro on, and then you had to go into some settings and activate guest mode, and you had very little like customizations on what the guests could or could not control while they were using it, and it was just kind of hard to be able to get it to AirPlay as well. It was, a, it was a whole thing. Now we finally get a better way to set up guest mode on Vision Pro, and it can all be done through a few prompts on your iPhone. So once the person puts on the head set, a prompt will auto appear and you will be able to just allow a few different permissions. You can even select very specific apps and functions that users can have access to, which is very good. Nobody can just go snooping around. And so now it's just a few simple taps and the guests can get going right into hand and eye setup. The best part is I can also allow it to airplay to my phone during this process, which means I don't have to do that before or instruct the person wearing the headset on how to get to that aspect. And so then I can also show people around and be able to figure out what to do and guiding them is really, really handy with AirPlay. So this just really smooths out the whole guest mode process and actually makes me want to let other people try it. Not that I didn't want to before, but it was really just kind of a hassle. Vision OS 2.4 also brings a few new apps for discovering content and managing your Vision Pro. First, we have the brand new Spatial Gallery app on the Vision Pro itself. So here you'll get an easy location for all of the cool spatial photos, videos, panoramas, etc., and all content from Apple that features sports, entertainment, travel, and more. I'm glad to see Apple is starting to take discovering content a bit more seriously with Apple Vision Pro because it is truly one of the best parts about the device. And there just needs to be a more, you know, dedicated and easy way that's all front and center to be able to find content that's uh, enjoyable on the Vision Pro. Apple has also introduced another new app, but this one is on the iPhone. So if you're a Vision Pro owner and you have iOS 18.4 installed, this new Apple Vision Pro app on iOS will be auto-downloaded to your device. And here is where you'll be able to discover even more content without having to put the headset on. And if you find a movie or a game or any app that you wanna try later on, maybe you're at work and you found it on your phone, you can add it to your wish list or have it auto-downloaded so that it's on your headset the moment you get home and put it on, you'll have it downloaded and ready to go. You can also find customer support documents and very helpful tips about Apple Vision Pro. And there's also a My Vision Pro page dedicated to all of the important information that you might need about your device in one easy to find location. For a 2.4 update, I think this is a pretty big one. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this new update? And what are the other features that you think are still missing uh, to make the Vision Pro an even better experience? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.